Hi, I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach, and this is the Organize Your Life podcast. In every podcast, I'll talk about an organizing, decluttering, productivity, or time management concept, and I'll tell you why it's important. I'll include an action step at the end so you can start practicing right away, all in just five minutes. My specialty is chunking down these big topics so they aren't overwhelming. That's the concept for the podcast, too. I'm now done with the material from my first book, 52 Simple Ways to Get Organized. If you want the book, you can find it on my website or on Amazon. And you can view the show notes for this podcast on my blog. If you have questions or would like me to talk about a particular topic, just shoot me an email at claire at cluttercoach.net. I would love to hear from you. Keep in touch by getting on my mailing list. It's under the free stuff tab on my website, cluttercoach.net. Okay, here we go. This is Podcast 108, and it's about passive attention. Back in Podcast 83, I talked about paying attention, about mindfulness. It's a critical skill for being more effective in getting things done. It's related to focus, but it's a little different. Focus is goal-oriented and active. Mindfulness is more passive. It's about experiencing rather than creating. Both are necessary, Focus is what keeps you working steadily on one task instead of scattering your time and energy. Mindfulness is the larger scope of where your time and energy is going in relation to everything else. Focus is about doing. Mindfulness is about being. Doing is invigorating. Even when it's stressful, we often feel we like the feeling of being in motion and taking action. It's very satisfying, especially when we see the results of our action right away. In this Western culture, we associate success with doing. Not doing feels like taking time off, being lazy. But not doing is as beneficial to doing as sleep is to waking. If we didn't sleep, or skimped on it, as so many people do these days, we wouldn't be doing much while we're awake. We need that downtime for body rejuvenation and mental and emotional processing. We need the absence of doing while we're asleep to get anything done. Mindfulness provides rejuvenation and renewal while we go about our days. Simple things like noticing how the leaves are turning as you drive down the street to work in the morning. Or feeling the weight of a door you open against your hand. These are small things. They're already happening. You don't need to create them or even look for them. Just let them come in. It's not just experiencing those things, but taking another moment to be consciously aware of them. Letting that sight of the beautiful trees or that physical sensation of the door's weight come into your mind and take some space there. It's turning off the mental soundtrack just briefly for a better type of experience to come in. Just as meditation does, this reflection helps ground you and give you perspective on all your activities. If you have a particularly busy day, you can punctuate it with these moments of mindfulness and slow it down a bit. When I say slow it down, I don't mean take time with it. The paradoxical thing about these moments is that they can be very brief and still have a great impact. A few seconds of noticing delightful trees along one block can stay with you all day or all week. It's a moment of grace you can come back to time and again. The other paradoxical quality is that these fleeting moments change the quality of the time you spend doing. You may not get more time in your day, But your doing time will be focused in a deeper, more concentrated way. You'll spend less time getting off track and bringing yourself back again. That's a time saver right there. Since you've allowed yourself to step back and see the larger picture, you can allow yourself to fully commit to whatever you're doing, knowing it's the right way to spend your time. But you ask, how do I do this when I'm always so busy, always running from one thing to the next? Like any habit, it can take time to develop. Make it as easy as possible. That's always my thing. Give yourself reminders like alarms, visual aids, or written notes. These are ways to provide yourself with a mini meditation before you go on to the next thing. Try an alarm that goes off every weekday before you have lunch. Uh, Yeah, I know alarm is a bad word, isn't it, though? Luckily, with smartphones, you can choose the type of sound you want to hear. You can have a soft chime or even a meditation bell as your alarm. When it goes off, take a deep breath 
and let the morning go and welcome your break for lunch. And that's all. A visual aid could be an image you find relaxing or pleasing, or a crystal, or a stuffed animal, or some other small object that makes you happy. Put it in a place where you'll see it easily, but not constantly. If it's at your desk, have it in a spot where you need to turn your head to see it. Otherwise, it's a visual nag. Or worse, it fades into the background and you stop seeing it. When you turn to look at it, you can enter into that small space of stillness for a few moments, and then go on with your day. The third idea is to put a post-it on your front door or a spot where you'll see it when you leave the house for the day. Find a phrase to write on it that inspires you to pause and take in the words. It could be an intention to have a peaceful day. Here are some more that I found online searching for mindfulness quotations. Feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Or, you are the sky, everything else is just weather. Those are from Thich Nhat Hanh and Pema Chodron. Like so many things I podcast about, this is a simple thing to do, but it takes a bit of effort to work it into your life regularly. A little bit goes a long way. Here's what you can do right now. Try one of the three suggestions I gave to bring passive attention into your life. An audio reminder, an object reminder, or a visual word-based reminder. See how bringing a little ease into every day makes the day more productive and relaxed at the same time. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach. If you like the show, I'd love it if you leave a rating and review in iTunes. You can subscribe, too, so the podcast will be ready and waiting for you to listen to. You'll find the show notes on my blog at www.cluttercoach.net. And you can check out my store to find books I've written and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're a fan of the show, you can become a patron on patreon.com for as little as a dollar a month. You can find my page by going to the Patreon website, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, and searching on Clutter Coach. I'll still post the podcast free of charge, but I've got some cool rewards for folks who want to help me make the show even better. Come back next week for a new podcast. 